South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem steps out looking like the picture-perfect cowgirl. But this isn't a costume. This is who she is. We live on the ranch, the one that my dad bought when I was about 12 or 13 years old. I love to chase cows and sit in tree stands hunting. So, you know, for me to be in D.C., in a city, you know, at receptions and dinners and in crowded house floors voting was a challenge. In her new book, Not My First Rodeo, Lessons from the Heartland, Nome dives into her childhood, working on the family farm and going to church with her parents and siblings whenever the doors were open. I always thought, you know, you read scripture, you think, gosh, God loves farmers more than anybody else. <laughs> you know, he loves ranchers more than everybody else. I mean, he's talking about sowing and reaping all the time and your barns are overflowing and cattle on a thousand hills. And so, you know, for heaven's sakes, you just assume that this way of life is something that God would want everybody to be able to live. Then the unimaginable happened. At just 49 years old, Christy's father, Ron, died in a tragic farm accident while she was away at college. When dad passed away, it was devastating for our entire family. Uh, for me in particular, he was my best friend. Um, you know, I, he was the person I admired the most, the one who I cared the most what he thought of me uh, and had planned my entire life just to grow up and to work with him and be in business with him. So when he died, I couldn't even imagine what the next day would look like. By now, Nome was married to her husband, Brian, and they were eight months pregnant with their first daughter. Nome left college to go home and keep the farm going. So I probably wasn't the best mother at that time because all I knew to do was what my dad would have done and that was work and take care of business. Um, but thankfully we had a strong family and my mom was incredible in helping to take care of Cassidy and teach me how to be a good mom too. Nome says lessons learned from her dad are still with her today, especially. Christy, we don't complain about things, we fix them. And it was those words that compelled her to enter politics and try to fix what she considered the most unfair tax that nearly bankrupt her family's farm after her father passed, the so-called death tax. It took me 10 years to pay off those taxes and it made me angry. So I just started showing up at meetings and I felt that if I was upset by this law that was on the books, then I needed to do something about it. After several years in South Dakota's state legislature, Nome felt God nudging her toward Washington. She won a seat in Congress and championed an issue near and dear to her, getting the farm bill passed. And yes, I was very bold and got into some tough fights with the leadership in the House, national leaders that had never been challenged before. And they did not react well. Uh, but I would say that at the end of the day, we got it done. Nome calls her best decision the one she made to come back home to South Dakota. I think that being governor fits my personality better. I'm very much a decision maker. Um, I, you know, I'd run my own businesses for many, many years. Her leadership during the pandemic thrust her into the national spotlight, especially her refusal to enforce federal mass mandates and shut down business. Well, I really felt like uh, during the pandemic, we saw the best of South Dakota. We saw people that had faith in each other, faith in God, and they really partnered in a way that was pretty inspiring for the rest of the country to watch. Today, she and Lieutenant Governor Larry Roden, a third generation cattle rancher, are running the show with farming, cattle ranching, and the nation's food supply at the top of their priority list. I just have recognized um, for many, many years that the country that feeds itself controls its own future. But if we start importing food from another country, then they control us. And we are getting dangerously close to that. And we're seeing supply chain issues. Nome also recently signed legislation making girls sports solely for biological females. And as of this June, no abortions are being performed in South Dakota. When I ran for governor, I told the entire country I wanted to be the most pro-life governor in, in the country that we've ever had. And we're very proud of the fact that today we cherish our children in South Dakota. But it hasn't been all wins for Nome. Her attempts to forge new relationships with South Dakota's Native American Indians were not well received. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen there. And I talk a little bit in my book about some of the roadblocks that I've run into when it comes to the tribal council. Although she's running for another term as governor, conservatives inspired by her strong leadership style have urged a run for the White House. I don't have any plans to do that. Um, I, I very much am looking forward to hopefully serving the people of South Dakota another four years. I hope they'll trust me to do that. Um, I've also known that we'll see 
what God has planned too, because he likes to um, surprise me once in a while. Do you ever still feel like that little girl on the ranch? I feel like that every day. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I find incredible joy from the same things that I did when I was a little girl. There's nothing better to me than a horse. Um, I love chasing cows. So everything that that I loved then, I still love. I just don't get to do it as often. One thing she promised herself when her dad died was that she would live her life to make him proud. I don't know. You know, that's a hard thing to judge. I think he'd be proud. Um, awesome. But I'm, I know I can do better. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Pier, South Dakota. And I think it looks really good.